Hello everyone, Dream Envoy here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we completed the Fire Temple, awakening Darunia as the Sage of Fire, and as a result, we managed to get his talisman for it. Well, talisman is a medallion. Very different things. In this part, we're just going to continue Time to continue on with the story. Actually, I don't even need Yapona. Because our next destination is actually right over here. At the Zora River. And I'm just gonna stay near the ledge. That way Link doesn't actually have to go swimming. And we'll just make our way um, up the river. As you may have noticed, we're kind of tackling the temples in the same order of... How we tackled them as children. Well, you know, we uh, started off with the Kokiri dungeon, and then the uh, and then the Goron dungeon, and now we're doing a Zora dungeon. Anyways, you remember that magic plant we planted there? You actually want to ride it and go over here because if we go ahead and play the Sun Song at this location... You hear that? Yep. Right over here, we get a gold Sculptula. Finally, that very first magic bean comes into use. That should be number 65. Yes, it is. And I suppose you can also ride the magic bean plant pretty much all the way up the river, but I'm gonna skip out on that because um, there are some other um, gold scotulas that you can collect here. Well, Actually, there's only just one. I eh, suppose you can just ride the magic plant here. But anyways, you can actually hear it um, around here. You want to climb up onto this fence. Should be around here. There you are. Don't want to fall into the river, though. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, ah. Uh. Well, don't worry, I'll still there, be there. Just a matter of me finding a place to climb back out. Even though that Skulltula only appears during the nighttime, the token for it should still remain down during the daytime. Don't jump into the, into the water, Link. There we go. Now... Wait, did the token disappear? Where is the... I could have sworn that the tokens remained. No? Okay, they actually respawn um, if you don't collect the tokens. Noted. But you need to, but you actually do need to climb the fence because um, Link simply wouldn't be able to reach from otherwise. Let's see. Seriously? Still can't reach it. Come on. Link, I know you can reach it. There we go. It's a little bit difficult to reach, but it can be done. That's token number 66. Man, the moon is moving fast. Anyways, here we are at the entrance of Zora Domain. You know the deal. Stand on here. Pull our ocarina.
play Zelda's Lullaby correctly. And part the waters as if we were Moses. And not do what we did as a child and, you know, wait until the wall of fall closes before jumping in. But anyways, here we are at Zora's Domain and, um... Well then. It certainly changed. In a little bit of a more obvious way than, um, at Goran City. Uh, seems like it has frozen over. But what of the Zora? Are they being held prison as well? Well, in a way, yeah. They're all encased in ice. Question is, why? Why and how has this place um, frozen over? Anyways. You hear this gold scotula? Even though that is off in the angle, it's still easier to grab than um, number 66. But anyways, here's number 67. Well, now that we see what happened to King Zora, let's go ahead and check up on Jabu Jabu. See how he is um, now that seven years have passed. Perhaps he also frozen over. Well, there is hope. There is water here, but... Nope. Jabu Jabu is gone. The Zora God is dead. Such a shame. I like that guy. Well, okay, not really. I didn't care much for his dungeon. There's some Octoroks there, and you can already see in the distance that there's a piece of heart there. Over there is actually our destination, that cave over there. Ah, I thought that I was out of real range, but okay. Anyways, jump onto the ice. Um, if you fall into the water, you have to go ahead back to the beginning again, because it's gonna be insanely difficult to get back onto the uh, moving ice. But anyways... If you manage to, um, reach this place, you'll get our 28th piece of heart. Nice. And yeah, I'll demonstrate in the water some of these um, platforms you can slide on to. The spinning platforms you can. This one, however, because it tends to dip quite a bit at the edges, it's pretty much impossible to just climb onto this one. You have to do some jumping. But anyways, our goal is to reach this cave. This cave actually did exist when you were a child. It's just that you can't access it because the platforms are too high and they're... Well, the... It's just too high of a ledge and there isn't any ice to um, help you get up here. But anyways, it's a little bit of a short video, but I think I'm going to end it here. Because now that we've reached this cave, well, we could... Assume that this is the source of where all this, well, falling temperatures are coming from. And no, it's not winter. It's just, I don't know. I get a feeling that Ganondorf might be behind this. And Link is shivering. Okay, it's a little bit of a short video, but I will end it here. So, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Feel free to leave behind a comment. If you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Next time, we'll enter this cavern and see what and try to figure out where all this ice is coming from. See you guys then.